as usual, create an augmented reality app template. I'm just going to delete the boilerplate code. Over here, I'm going to create a function called create video screen. And it accepts as input a width and a height. And this would return a model entity. So if you remember before, for Reality Kit AR projects, we need to include a model entity. To create a model entity, we need first a mesh, and then we need a material, in this case, a video material. And then we can tie both of them into a model entity. So let's first create the screen mesh. So this would be a screen mesh variable, and we need to choose mesh resource dot generate plane width, width and height. That's it. Now the width here would be the width that we passed on here and the height would be the height. Simple. Now let's go on to create the material. And this is a video material. Video materials, if you're not familiar, is a new addition to Reality Kit where you can have videos playing in the material, not just a static image. So to create a video material, first we need a link to what kind of video we want to play. So this would be a URL. So in this case, this remote link contains the video that I want to play. Next, we want to create a video item with this URL string. So we're gonna create a function for that, create video item. Let's close this function and let's create that create video function below this thing. So create video item. As always, it's a good practice to put functions just right below the ones that you're calling, or you can call it the parent function. It's just a way of writing cleaner code. So the parent function is create video screen. And just below that, I'm creating the create video item function because I'll call that in here. Inside create video item, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass a URL string. So this would be a string containing the link to the remote video file that we want to play. This would return something called an AV player item. And in here, what we need to do is first create a URL object. And then we can create the video item which contains reference to the video that we want to play. So for the URL object, I'm going to choose a guard let statement. The string would be the URL string that we passed onto the function. And if such a URL does not exist, then we return nil and accept the function. And then we can create the video item with this URL. So for that, first we need to create a AV asset, a URL asset. So that would be AV URL asset. So this is not recognized the function, and that's because we need to import the AV kit framework. So now if you type again AV URL asset, it works. And we're going to choose the one with the URL option. So this would accept a URL object as input, and that's what we created here. So we're going to pass that on here. Next thing, we want to create a video item with this AV URL asset. So for that, I'm going to create a video item, and this would be a AV player item object. And if you see the options, there is the one to create with an AV asset, which is exactly what we did here. So the asset would be asset. I'm just repeating myself. And so that's how you create a video item. I'm going to return this video item because we'll use this in our main function. So that's the create video item function. Now in our main function, we have the URL string. And now we're going to create the video item here by calling the create video item function we just made. So this would be with the URL string we have above. Awesome. So for the video material, now we got the URL and we created a video item out of it. And the next thing we want to do is create the actual video material using this video item. So for that, I'm going to create another function, create that function right here and name it create video materials and this would accept as input the video item that we created with the previous function we'll call it video item which is of type av player item and this would return a video material awesome so now let's create the video material to create the video material first thing we want to need is we need a video player which is an av player type so let's create a player. So let player equals AV player. And then we can create a video material using this player. So for that, we're going to create a video material. And this would be an object of type video material. And if you look at the options, it can create one with an AV player. So this would be the player here. 
So now we got the video material which has the player embedded in it. The last thing we want to do is we want to play the video right when the thing starts. And in here what we're going to do first is we're going to insert a video item into this video player so that there will be a video associated with this. And the video item it's just the one that we created using this function. So let's do that. We can do that by taking the player object and using the replace current item with a video item. And that would be the video item here. Great. Now finally we can play the video. So for that simply take the player object and create the play function. Beautiful. So this would create the video material that we finally can use. So you can see I've created a lot of different functions just to achieve the main goal of creating a video material. And that's just to make the code more nicer and cleaner. Awesome. So now in our main function, which is the create video screen function, we're going to call this right after we created the video item. So here it's going to be video material. And we're going to use the create video material function that we just made and with the video item that we made before. Great. So now we have the mesh and a video material. We can finally create a model entity out of this, which we can use in the ARC. For that, I'm going to create a video screen model entity. This would be a model entity object. This would accept a mesh and a material. So the mesh would be the screen mesh here. So screen mesh, oops, screen mesh. And the material, we're just going to add one material, which is the video material. Awesome. So that completes our create video screen function, which returns a model entity, which would represent the screen with the video that we want to play. And in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to use this function to create a video screen model entity and place it vertically on top of a table and at the same time add gestures to it. So stay tuned for part two, where we'll complete our procrastination screen project.